What do you make of um, systems, rhythms, and orders? Because I realize I had a little exchange yesterday. I'm very rhythm oriented and I'm sort of not musically, but I'm like this person, this person shows up late. This person shows up early. This person pays every time we go to dinner, this person never pays. And I try to factor in everybody's cadence and their rhythm and, and what they do. And I was, uh, I was getting, I was doing a TV hit yesterday and uh, the makeup lady who always shows up at my house, uh, showed up at my house and she started putting stuff on my face, and I just said, don't you always do my hair first? And she went, yeah, this is just some moisturizer. I'm not doing your makeup. I couldn't tell what she was doing. Then I do your hair. And I was like, oh, this is the wrong order for me. This person who I don't know starts with my hair, then goes to my face. This time started with my face, but not the makeup. The moisturizer then went to the hair. Also did a thing which was humbling for the first time ever. Stuck on those weird under eye, oh sure, puffy pads. I've sure. never. I, they look like little Nike swooshes. Yeah, yeah. I, Jimmy used to wear those. I'd make fun of it, but I was like, evidently there's an issue. It's time <laughs> now here. It's a real referendum. But uh, it, for me, it's all about like the order and the rhythm. And you, person who I don't really know, is not doing the order and the rhythm that I'm used that I've assigned to you in my head after observing you four times. Yeah. Um, well, again, with the nervous system and brain is as mainly a organ, just like any other organ of our body, but it's designed to predict what comes next. Some people are more geared toward uh, understanding sequence. I'm guessing, and I don't have any prior knowledge that you're pretty good at understanding um, kind of sequence of mechanics, mm -hmm. right? Um, I guess I know you have a, a proclivity for cars. So, but you know, you get, you get in a car, you got to close the door before, generally before you start the ignition. Um, there's, there's an a, order. There's an order. Sequence, I, yeah. For reasons that aren't interesting, I recently rewatched the <laughs> Apollo 13 movie, and like those guys, all they did is train and train and train. And the simulator is all about sequencing. Right? Mm -hmm. It's like one page sequencing for every scenario. That's a, a very analytic um, math type, engineering type brain, which I'm guessing that you uh, have a certain leaning toward probably uh, yeah and i and it doesn't necessarily mean that you love or, or are exceptional at math compared to other things this idea by the way of left brain right brain it's total garbage wow total garbage no self-respecting neuroscientist would ever say oh that's a left brain response or a right brain response almost every function in the human brain male female or what have you is bilaterals on both sides of the brain. There's a little bit of lateralization of language, but that's true in everybody. Mm -hmm. There's only one function that we are aware of that is really lateralized to one side of the brain, and that's this thing we call prosody, which is a kind of lilting and uh, the, the lifting and falling of the voice. It, it, just think Italian. Mm -hmm. the, the, right. you know, they sort of accentuate the second to last syllable of everything. So aside from prosody, this left brain, right brain, oh, you're a really right brain person, left brain person, complete and total garbage. There's, there's zero evidence. And in fact, there's so much evidence to the contrary that it's remarkable that this persists. I will file this under the many, many hours devoted to talking about the food pyramid. Yeah, <laughs> like exactly. Fucking somebody trots something out. We like the hoodoo off. gurus were named after Charles Nelson Riley, and then we all fall in and line. And they all fucking fall in line, <laughs> yeah. and then, then then we have to, and then 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 congressmen get into it. And the next thing you know, mothers, and we're talking yeah. about. And it turns out half the shit. It's wrong. It's it's not even fake news. It's just like incorrect news. Right. right. And we all oh. just run down this breakfast, most important meal of the day. And like, the concrete right. is dry on this stuff. What's that? The thing? concrete oh, yeah. is dry. Oh no, it's it's hard to That's left brain talking. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to talk people out of No, I do I do the egg whites right. because I don't want all the bad you know, Cholesterol. Color, and you're like a child no, of 80s. You're, you're, you're in the gym in the eighties. Right. Yeah. Spray butter. Yeah, I'm sorry, Brian was about that. Oh no, I was gonna something. say so it's just the nomenclature that's incorrect because people People obviously are good at different things. You have math people, you have arts or whatever it is, but it's the nomenclature of the left right hemisphere. Yeah, that's right. And, you know, we have two hemispheres of the brain, one side and the other side. And it is true that the right side controls the left side motor movements and, the, and vice versa. But in terms of someone being left brained or, or right brained, you know, the nature nurture debate is one of the oldest debates, it goes back you know, thousands of years. It's very clear that we come into this world with certain genetic leanings to be better or worse at certain things based on our parents. It's just a mm -hmm. fact. There's no way you could ar argue against that. However, the nurture component is huge. And, and basically the way it works is from birth till about age 25, 
the brain and nervous system is incredibly plastic. So what you're exposed to shapes you. Your brain becomes a map mm -hmm. of your experience so that you can predict things, right? But after age 25, you can also change your brain. And the, the process throughout the lifespan by which that happens is called neuroplasticity, which is literally just the reconfiguring of the brain circuits. The difference between birth to 25 and 25 after is after age 25, there are two things that are absolutely required to change your brain. First of all, you have to want to do it. The idea that you can change someone else's brain in a positive way by telling them something over and over to do something, forget it. But the two components are you have to focus very intensely on what you're trying to learn, whereas as a child, you can just learn passively. Mm -hmm. And then it is actually during sleep and naps that your brain rewires and configures. So the stimulus is there, but the actual rewiring, much like mm -hmm. exercise, you go into the gym, you get this illusion of, of progress in the gym because of the, the right. so-called pump or the, you know, or you feel like you're breathing hard, et cetera. But the real adaptation occurs later. The same thing with brain change. Wow. Mm -hmm.